Grace and peace to you this morning. This is a Jack Johnson song on the guitar. Brand new baby was born yesterday, just in time. Papa cried, baby cried, said your tears are just like mine. Heard some words from a friend on the phone, didn't sound too good. Doctor gave him two weeks to live, I'd give him more if I could. You know that I would now. If only I could You know that I would now If only I could Down the middle drops one more Grain of sand They say that new life makes losing life Easier to understand Words are kind, they help ease the mind I miss my old friend Though you gotta go We'll keep a piece of your soul One goes out, one comes in You know that I would now If only I could You know that I would now That song starts off, Brand New Baby Was Born. And here at Chapel in the Pines, we are celebrating the birth of our piano player's daughter. Our love and our prayers go to you, Daniel, your wife, Shihan, and your baby girl, Nora. <laughs> also celebrating in my extended family, the birth of my nephew to my brother-in-law and his wife. Our love and prayers go to that family as well. But this song by Jack Johnson is not only about the birth of a child, but also the death of a loved one. And this too resonates with me and my life right now. In fact, on the very same day that my new nephew was born, my wife's grandma died. The circle of life was made even more poignant by the date, 12 which is a palindrome. The number's the same forward and backward. Something mysterious, even mystic about that. And speaking of the mystery, the Apostle Paul wrote long ago that whether we live or whether we die, we belong to God. Modern author Brene Brown says that belonging is a core need for all human beings. And that in order to belong, we must admit this need, and how in this sense we are all dependent. So to belong is to become vulnerable. It's hard to be vulnerable. I know. It actually takes courage. Speaking of courage and strength, Jack Johnson sings that new life makes losing life easier to understand. Perhaps you know a comfort in your grief by the fact that life will go on. But what I would hope you could believe is that you belong. 
you not only belong to, but are loved by the eternal one. The one who is closer than your next breath and who will be with you when you breathe your last. In my experience in ministry, we are our most vulnerable right after we are born and just before we die. But over our whole life, we can take comfort and strength in our faith that we do indeed belong to God. So my friends, may that be our song of faith. May it be so.